Now the first step is to restart Steam. You can exit and then relaunch the Steam and then check if that does not work. Restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, type in dash DX12. You can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 over here. Launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows update and then click on Windows update and then click on check for update. Now once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game file. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to Install Files tab and then click on Verify Integrative Game Files. Once the verification is complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now this is important. Many users, uh, the users who has this Doctor Web antivirus program, they are facing this problem. So many user has allowed the game exe file to the antivirus program and it has worked. Many have uninstalled the antivirus. Uh, Dr. Web and then restart the computer and then relaunch the game and this has worked. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down. At the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app browser or apps. Now go to the game installation folder, wherever the game installed. Open the game folder. In my case, this is the location. And then select all the exe file. Select this exe file. Click on open. Again, browse all apps. Select this start protected game exe file. Click on open. And then again, browse all apps. And then open this folder binaries. Win64, select this exe file, click on open and then type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall, click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, select this exe file, Click on open and then click on add. Again, allow another app. Click on browse. Open this folder binaries Win64. Select this exe file. Click on open and then click on add. Once it is added, in my case, it is already added. Once it is added, now you can relaunch the game. Similarly, if you have any third party antivirus, then make sure that you allow all the exe file to your antivirus program. Close all third party application. Like if you have separate application running on your computer, you can disable it or you can uninstall it. This has worked for many players. If you have Crypto Pro, Punk Buster, Goodbye, DPI app, any kind of uh, third party application, make sure only the Steam and the game is running. Rest close everything, including uh, like you can go to Task Manager, you can make a right click on the Start menu and then go to Task Manager. And if you have any third party services running, you can make a right click and disable it and or end the task. You have to end the task. Also allow the game exe file to exploit protection. Now for this, you can type in exploit protection in Windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here. And then click on program settings, add a program to customize, click on this plus icon, choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder, select all the exe file, uh, select this exe file, pioneer game and then put a check on override for all the option and you have to disable if this is on, you have to turn this off. Again, turn this off. So these are already off. Turn this off. Again, turn it off. Now, once this is done, hit apply, click on yes to allow. Again, plus choose exact file path. Do the same thing with this exe file, put a check on all the option. 
then you have to turn off each and every option and then again click on plus icon choose exact file path and then open this this is the main exe file binaries win64 you have to select this exe file and then click on open and again you have to put a check on all the boxes over here for override system settings and then turn off each option over here Turn off each option over here. Don't miss anything. And once done, hit apply. Click on yes, and then you can check. If you face any problem and you want to go to default, you can remove this from here, and that will go to default. And then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, if able to launch, set. If you are able to launch the game, you can set ray tracing to static. If you are not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. So go to the game and then you can go to settings and then go to graphics over here. Scroll down over here. You can see ray tracing. If this is set to dynamic epic, you can set it to static over here. So set it to static and then you can check. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall e and uh, sorry, easy anti cheat. Make a right click, manage, browse local files. And then open installer folder. Here you can see uninstall easy anti cheat. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes. Or you can simply make a double click also. Press any key. Okay, we have to run it as an administrator only. So run as administrator, click on yes, and then check. And then after you uninstall it, you have to install it. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, click on yes. And once this is done, now you can launch the game and then check. If not working, you can uninstall it run as administrator, click on yes, and then launch the game. When you launch the game, during the launch, it will install easy anti-cheat, and here it will install it. And once installed, yeah, click on yes to allow, and let the installation complete. Once installed, then you can check. Still not working, the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, you can go to the game installation folder, Make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check. You can even use this start protected, uh, protected game exe file. Make a right click, click on run as administrator, and then check. You can even try to run this as an administrator, and then check. If that does not work, open binary game, binaries, win64. Make a right click on the, this exe file, go to properties, and then go to this tab. Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Go to properties. This time you can select Windows 8 over here. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Try Windows 7 over here. Hit apply, click on OK. You can even try disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game, and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to rename the config file now when you rename the config file all the saved settings will be lost to rename the config file you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder local folder find pioneer folder pioneer game open this folder saved folder and then config here you can see config folder make a right click and then you can rename this folder and then you can relaunch the game and then you can check uh, let me close the game for now now still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select your operating system and then click on find over here. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view, and then click on download over here. And once the download is complete, you can run this exe file, click on yes to allow, click on okay, and then click on agree and continue. Select custom option over here, and then click on next, and then put a check on the box which says, perform a clean installation, then click on next, 
once it is done restart again we restart is a must after this after the system restart you can launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all the exe file uh, select this pioneer game and once you add the game over here let me add it once again yeah once you add the game click on the game and then select high performance over here and then add desktop app once again open this binary game binaries win64 this is the main exe file select this click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance over here relaunch the game and then check desktop users make make sure that you can connect your sdmi cable or the dp cable to the dedicated graphic card slot so if your computer has a dual graphic card make sure that you connect your sdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card not the motherboard slot disable integrated graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here and in my case it's intel integrated one make a right click and then disable device and then once done relaunch the game and then check once you are done playing the game you make a right click again you can enable the device now still not working uh, roll back if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can click on view more version and then you can you can try to install the older graphic card driver and click on view or download but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next and then restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 so run this file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant to update your intel drivers now for this you can go to the intel website go to the official website and then click on download run the exe file install it then launch it it will scan your computer if there is any update you will see download all option and then you will see update install all options once everything is updated then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try launching the game from nvidia app so nvidia card users you can launch nvidia app or you can install nvidia app and then launch it and over here uh, you will see the game so you can click on play over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work you can go to settings and or you can go to graphics over here and then you can select the game now once you select the game at the right hand side uh, if you see if you see optimize option like this so you have to select the game and then click on optimize and once it is optimized you can launch the game and then check if it is already optimized then you can revert the optimization and then you can go to settings over here and then turn off this nvidia overlay and then relaunch the game now the next step is to debug try debug mode now for this go to the desktop show more option nvidia control panel and then go to help and put a check on debug mode here you can see debug mode put a check over here and then relaunch the game and then check if that does not work you can restore the nvidia control panel settings now for this you can go to manage 3d settings global settings restore yes and at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows set box control panel and then hardware and sound power options and over here i have only balanced but if you have power saver you can select power saver to relaunch the game and then check you can even try balanced and high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working uh, the next step is to yeah enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings 
go to advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable or enable its steam overlay now for this you can make a right click on the game select properties turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game if it is already off you can turn it on and then check close all the overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running turn off nvidia overlay close all the overlay application do not overclock you can set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi after burner revert tuner running or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it and then you can relaunch the game next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate suppose your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 or maybe 60 hertz and then relaunch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabyte so you have to calculate as per your ram and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total ram in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total ram that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply click on ok ok you will see restart option restart you can be and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advance change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step uh, still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to unplug all the external devices like if you have motors wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect external keyboard and mouse like if you have any extra uh, like any external keyboard and mouse and like key crown keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard or if you have a dongle connected disconnected remove the undervolt and then check and also try launching the game on single monitor like if you have multiple monitors set up try launching the game on single monitor primary monitor and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uninstall the game and then you can install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.